In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a corbel connection for precast column and precast beam. First, we're going to add a column. Let's say I have a profile of 400 by 400 and the top part or the height of the column is 4,500. So I'll just pick on the grid line. And then I'm going to add a beam wherein I have a uh, profile 600 by 400 with this position just pick the top of the column so one two one two one and two okay I can just simply copy this one from this point to this point and then say three copies Alright, and then let's say I'm going to add another beam here. And then copy this beam. From here, so negative x direction, copy. And then I have a, a, a very simple frame here. So now, let's start creating a core bell. So for the corbel, you can use a beam or you can use a slab for that corbel. So uh, here I can uh, go to the uh, uh, view at grid one. So let's say open a view list and then open the grid one. So this is the view for the grid one. And then from here, I'm going to uh, add the corbel now. But uh, I can, uh, I can cut, or I can fit the beam first to the surface of the column. So what all I have to do is to go to Edit, Fit Part End, and then pick on the beam, and then okay, change the snap tools. So pick this point and this point. So I have now this uh, fitting. But uh, since we're talking about the corbel connection here, so all I have to do is to select this fitting and then control P to make it a plain view, right click and then move linear. So I'm going to move this one, let's say 20. So it means I have this uh, erection clearance for this. So now, um, let me just concentrate on these views. So I can uh, change this uh, work area using two points. So here. So I, I'm I'm now going to con concentrate on this view. So at this time, I'm going to add a uh, core bell. As I mentioned to you, I can use the beam. Let's say the same size of the beam. So from from this point, I, I'm going to press Control and then click and then select this 20 or pick uh, yeah use this 20 and then again here let's say I have a 200 so that's my core bell alright or maybe I can just simply make it 250 then I can change the profile of this one let's say I have a uh, 400 by 400 corbel okay so if I'm going to rotate that one this is the position of my corbel I can change the corbel class using 11 so that it will be same color as my column since this corbel is connected to the column or attached to the column so now uh, I can I can now use my uh, detailing tool line cut okay so before I use my line cut I can add a construction point or maybe I can just simply cut that one on half of the height of this core bell up to this bottom left corner of this core bell so line cut select object to be cut so I'm going to select this core bell and then 
select pick the first point on cutting line so I'm going to pick the center or the middle of the height of the corbel and then pick the, this corner and then pick side to remove so select this side and then now I have this corbel so that's the uh, first way of, uh, of creating the uh, uh, the corbel so now I'm going to show you the other way which is using the slab so again go back to this plain view I'm going to select this one and now select the concrete slab so this time the thickness I'm going to show I'm, I'm going to use the 400 and then I will type here corbel so class is number 11 middle and then let's say precast so again from here I'm going because I don't have uh, I don't have any point here or if you want to put a point here so that you're not going to press the control key all I have to do is go to edit and then uh, there is a projected point on line all then select this line and then click on this and then you're going to have a point so this one will be your starting point to create the corbel so now go back to concrete slab and then select this so now you can decide what is the size of the corbel let's say 250 and then here is 200 and then here is another uh, let's say or let's say 250 and then here is another 250 but I'm going to press the control key so that that one will be my dummy point and then if I click on this one this one will be my this point will be my um, corbel point okay click on this one so you can see the red line is something like a, a dummy uh, point from the dummy point and then the green line this one is the actual shape of your cor corbel so click the middle button of your mouse and there you go so you have now the corbel so since this corbel is part of the column all you have to do is to select this corbel right click and then add to and select the column so now the corbel is part of the cache unit for this column so inquire cache unit and there you go so column and then I have one core bell this is the profile alright so in this case since since you have a core bell now so I can make it control 2 and then um, I can uh, uh, I can create now a dowel here using my rebar so let's say here I'm going to use the uh, uh, reinforcing bar which is a single bar so let's say this one is a dowel bar and then the size will be a bigger one let's say 20 20 say 2 and then no hook no hook and the cover will be 0 0 0 and then it says pick the part to reinforce so I'm going to reinforce the core well or the column either way pick the column and then one two and then three middle button of your mouse or oh, sorry click three and then middle button of your mouse so now that's the uh, uh, my dowel so if you want to uh, move this one first I need to extend this one select the handle of this bar and then move so let's say I'm going to move from here to here so now I have this uh, uh, extended uh, reinforcement so now I can change the uh, it's either the on plane or the prompt plane let's say I have this 50 and 10 yeah so maybe I'll change this one to 100 so that one is the uh, position of my dowel bar okay which is part of the column so if I inquire now the column inquire as you need so I have now one column one core bell and then one t20 and this is the length 
Okay, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, reinforcement here. Let's say um, uh, I'm going to use the bar group here. So for the bar group, I can use the uh, dia diameter 10, T10. And then let's say this one is 20 for the radius. So here I'm going to use a, let's say, a yellow color. And then, uh, okay, I'm going to have a 90 degree hook, 25. And then now select again the core bell. And then here I'm going to uh, select the position or the shape of the, uh, the reinforcement here. Let's say from here. So one, two, three, four, five, and then middle button of your mouse. And then the range will be from here to here. And then I have now this reinforcement. So if you want to change the position of the reinforcement, or let's say here, I want to have only, I want to have a 100 spacing so there you go so I have now the reinforcement there okay and then you can add more reinforcement let's say I have a U bar here let's say again from here select one or one two three four and then middle button of your mouse from here to here I'm going to have a U bar or maybe I can change the uh, 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 what do you call that the prompt plane here let's say I want to make it uh, um, it's either outside or inside let's say uh, 15 modify ah oh, sorry uh, maybe this one could be 100 and then this one could be 10 or something like this All right and then maybe this one I'm going to change this one to 50 and this is the um, some kind of uh, reinforcement for the core but this one is just a, an example to how to other reinforcement on the uh, core bell. All right, so this is a manual way of uh, adding the core bell in this connection. But uh, now, if uh, I want to apply this one to the other uh, column and beam, so all I have to do is to select assemblies and then select this, um, select this uh, assembly or cast unit right click and then copy to another all content to another object so if I click on here so there you go so I can copy that connection but of course if you want to copy this one I can still copy this one using the command copy to another object so pick the source and then this one so that it will cut okay so that's the manual way of adding the core bell again now um, if you want to add the core bell using our component so it's much more easier of course why because if you go to this uh, application and component all you have to type is core bell and then here you have a different types of core bell here core bell connection number 14 just double click on that one so as you can see here this one is a parametric uh, connection which is uh, the good thing with Tecla is this parametric it's a uh, intelligent component where you can change the different uh, shape of the core bell whether it is a rectangular or a trapezoidal or a round one and then you can specify the uh, the size. Let's say since this one is parametric, I can say 250, like what I used earlier. This one is 250, and then this one is uh, 250 as well. Okay, and then apply. 
and then all you have to do is to okay let's go to the part so you can see the bearing plate if you like to have a bearing plate here reinforcement i have the diameter 25 for this uh, dowel bar okay general let's say i'm going to use uh, um, 11 as well and then apply so here all you have to do is to click main part one and then two and there you go you have already this core bell and then if i click one and then two so again you have now the two core bell so in this case if you notice um if i press control for it becomes a solid and i press control to it becomes a a uh, uh what do you call the transparent view now the core bell is still a solid one but you if you press the shift two then it becomes a wireframe as well or sorry um uh, transparent shaded view all right so now uh all i have to do if i'm happy with this one or sorry if i want to change again the uh the position of the core bell or the shape of the core bell all i have to do is to select this parameter here and then modify so i have now this shape of the uh, core bell if i want to have a round one bottom so that is the core bell so as you notice here you can change this one to 500 as you like so that's your core bell and control z and then uh, also um if i want to cut the beam and then uh make the core bell inside the beam okay so all i have to do is to change this one let's say 250 and then modify so the beam will be cut okay so you have a lot of uh, uh, parameters here in this component where you can change so you can follow your design and then use this uh, component to 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 model it easily in tecla structure so now for the reinforcement for the reinforcement the good thing is in tecla component there's also a corbel reinforcement so under this corbel name i have this corbel reinforcement and this one is much more easier to apply so i have the stirrups the uh, the, the uh, transverse stirrups diagonal stirrups and additional bar so you can uh, see uh, the different uh, reinforcement that you're going that you can use for this core bell so all I have to do is to apply and okay so pick the column and pick the core bell and then middle button of your mouse and there you go so I have now this uh, core bell reinforcement now what if the core bell is uh, um, on two sides huh? okay so I'm going to add one two one two okay and then I'm going to add a reinforcement for this two core bell so all I have to do is to select again the core bell reinforcement select the column select the core bell one and then select the core bell two and then middle button of your mouse and then there you go sorry all right so this is how you create the, uh, the core bell. And by the way, if you're going to uh, use again the select assembly, select this one, right click, and then copy all contents to another object, and then select this column, and okay. So this is the Corbel connection between the precast column and precast beam. Thank you.